Hi everyone, it's Diane and thank you very much for coming to watch this video. Um, thank you again for all your support, all your love and I just want to say um, again this is going to be a very general reading and if you would like to book a personal reading with me please click one of the links below. So it's the reading for the week of April the 11th 2016 and the message is 143 from the little book of daily guidance lead with love and it says make time today to remember that everyone needs to feel loved and appreciated just as you do there is no need for you to be perfect but everyone responds to loving kindness let go of any fears you may have about whether you are ready to be a good leader and surrender to the wisdom of love Lead with love and allow yourself to be vulnerable. A deeper authority is waiting to emerge. Okay, so this, I love this message because what this reminds me of is this sense that we often have that we need to be absolutely perfect before we can actually step out and do anything that's gonna help anyone else. Well, look around if you're gonna to try to find someone who's perfect on this planet at this time, you won't find them. And so let go of that need to be perfect, to have all the answers, to have everything finished before you can start. Just step out with your heart and, and offer that to the world because that's what we need right now. Things are pretty crazy at the moment and there's also a huge amount of love on the planet. So decide what you want to be a part of. Do you want to be a part of that love or do you want to be a part of the energy that says, I can only do something if I'm perfect. I can only fit myself into this 3D perception of how things need to be or how things need to appear before I'll actually do anything or how qualified I have to be or how, um, you know, how much sense I have to make. What you do has to make sense in alignment with love. That's the best teaching that we can possibly bring at the moment. The teaching that we need to bring at the moment and the people we need to be at the moment are people who are our teachings that are filled with love, teachings that lead people back to loving themselves, that lead them back at least to divine love. And we need to be the kind of teachers who are able to be loving, to be unafraid to be loving, and to keep coming back with love, regardless of what the world throws at us. And that is not always easy. It's not. And we are human. There are times when we just don't feel like being loving and we don't feel like being spiritual and we don't feel like saying it's okay because it's not always okay. What's happening isn't always okay. But what is always okay is love. Real love. Not the word. <laughs> the feeling, the energy, the essence. It's what we are. It's what we came from. It's what we will return to. It's all we really have. It's all that's real. It's all that we take with us when we leave this planet. It's all that we come into the world with, really. It's all that we have now. We don't own anything. We don't live anywhere. We don't belong to anything or anyone. We are love. We have love. We are striving to become love because we've forgotten that we already are. So this is going to be a week to just have a good look at yourself in the mirror if you're still holding back from walking out into the world with your gifts or with your message or with whatever it is that you came here to give and ask yourself, okay, am I really, really happy with being that unloving? Because that's really what we're doing. When we refuse to share our gifts with the world and we go into that ego place of, I don't know if it's good enough, I don't know if I'm good enough, what we're doing is we're saying, I'm not prepared to be this loving. And in the end, what happens is we stop loving ourselves because if we need to get a message out into the world and we hold that message inside, it hurts. So the most loving thing you can do for yourself today <laughs> is to decide that you're going to lead with that love from a place of love and that you are not going to tell yourself off for not being perfect. You're not going to watch yourself and sit in judgment anymore. You're going to be flawed and messy and annoyed and all the rest of it, damaged and dysfunctional as anybody else. 
but you are also going to recognize where you are absolutely divinely perfect and ready to share the beauty of that perfection which is love that is the infinite and the ultimate perfection that we all have somewhere within us I don't care how far you've gone off I don't care where you think you are I don't care how far you've strayed from love from light you are still at your essence love you are still a loving being so the message this week is love lead with love you don't have to have all the answers you don't have to be a great teacher you don't have to be a great speaker but in order to be fully loving you do have to show up and lead okay so if all you have is love you're ready you're ready to leave you're ready to lead you're ready to leave the doubt behind you're ready to leave. Maybe you have to leave a situation that isn't serving you in order to become the highest and truest manifestation of love that you can be at this time. So I'm going to choose a card from the Dolphins and Mermaids deck and uh, by Doreen Virtue. And um, I keep coming back to these ones at the moment. I always have current favourites and these are my current favourites. I love them. So... We're going to choose, we're asking for a message that will help us to be stronger in our intention to lead with love. Worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. Okay. So this is something that's still holding a lot of people back. They don't feel worthy of being heard. They don't feel that what they have to say is worth saying. So here's what you need to do. You need to go out into the world and you need to look around at the faces of people that you meet on your journey through life, on your way to work or on your way to the supermarket or wherever. And look at those people and just ask yourself, is there anything that I might be able to say or do that would help that person? And if the answer is yes to any of those people, then what you have to say is worth saying. Come back to basics, come back to why, why you have something to say, why you feel you want to say something, why you want to create, why you want to offer your gift, why you want to leave that dull day job, why you need to make a change in your relationship, why you need to leave your home. It's time to love, it's time to believe, and for some, it's time to leave that which constantly impresses upon you that you are not worthy. It's time, 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 I'm hearing quite emphatically. I'm going to pick another card from this top deck because it feels kind of warm. So there's something else there. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation, your situation right now. Expect miracles. So when you start to open up to your innate, divine, loving power, miracles will begin to happen that will support you because you are here to be the manifestation of loving, divine power on earth. So you can't be out of alignment when you do that. When you step up and do the most loving thing you can think to do right now, you will be supported because we are always supported when we are in alignment with our highest truth and our highest purpose. Your purpose now is to be love and to lead with love. And when you begin to do that, in however small a way, you will see and experience miracles. So this is the week that might be the turning point for you. This is the week when you will decide to step out of those feelings of unworthiness and begin to ask yourself, What's the most loving thing I can do right now? And what does leading with love mean for me? Okay, that's it this week, everyone. Thanks for watching and um, I hope it's a great one. I hope it's a, a, a week that's filled with love and um, I'll see you next week. Bye.